Hello friends, back with you again and I hope the machine records properly this time. I'm looking at this camera and thinking of you all in front of my eyes rather than just looking at a screen. So let's be quiet and steady and commence our service together. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the start of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first hymn today is Father, Hear the Prayer We Offer. Now there are two um, tunes to this hymn and I'm going to try and stick with one because Notoriously, I change course halfway through. So, Father, hear the prayer we offer. Father, hear the prayer we offer, not for ease that prayer shall be, but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously. Not for ever. In green pastures do we ask our way to be, but the steep and rugged pathway may we tread rejoicingly. Be our strength in hours of weakness, in a wandering be our guide, through endeavour, failure, danger, Father, be thou at our side. And if you look at the front of this service sheet, you see the Good Shepherd caring for his sheep. And today we're going to say Psalm 23 together. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph, my ginger cat appealing for his second supper. So, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And we continue the sheep theme with one of the great Gospel readings from the Gospel of John in chapter 10. And this is Jesus speaking. Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, Anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in in some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him, because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognise a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for all the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, 
but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief only comes to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the good shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and to take it up again. This command I received from my father. So there we have it, one of the great Good Shepherd themes in the Gospel of John. And it's almost a perfect illusion, isn't it, that a man will take care of his flock, even at the peril of his own life. And as we know, having just been through the uh, great rejoicings of Easter, he laid down his life for his flock and was raised again to the Father. And the shepherd looks after the sheep, he sees they're not wounded, they're well fed, they are comforted and by green grass and flowing water. Surely goodness and love shall last all the days of my life. Amen. Our second hymn is I Danced in the Morning, also known as the Lord of the Dance. So I hope you're in good and cheerful voice this morning. I danced in the morning when the world was begun and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. And I came down from heaven and I danced on earth. At Bethlehem I had my birth. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on the Sabbath and I cured the lame. The holy people, they said it was a shame. They whipped and they stripped and they hung me on high and left me there on a cross to die. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. They cut me down and I leaped up high. I am the life that'll never, never die. I'll live in you if you live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. Rather a cheerful modern hymn that, but it conveys very well the Bible message. And now we come to our time of intercessory prayer. And this morning, on a sheepish theme, we offer our prayers for the whole community, the flock of God. And each section of prayer will end with the words, Lord, in your mercy with the response from all of us, hear our prayer. So as we enjoy this spring morning, let us pray together to the God of our making. The Lord is our shepherd, knowing his care for us, let us pray. 
for all who shepherd others as bishops and pastors, ministers and vicars, and for all in their care. For Christians threatened and under attack, and all whose ministry feels demanding. For a greater affection and care, one for another in the church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in positions of leadership and influence in our world, that they may use that power for good, for an increase in our concern for one another, for his well-being, across all the barriers, and for all who are working to build community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are wandering, lost and aimless, who have no idea that any good shepherd exists. For those who die unaware that they are precious and valued by the God who loved them into being. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those throughout God's wonderful world who at this morning are at the extremes of distress caused by the COVID pandemic. May we as a nation provide in community the help that they need to survive because the TV pictures we receive are too awful for us to leave unresolved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who've died to this earthly life, that the Good Shepherd who understands what it is to die may bring them safely home to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray in thankfulness for your shepherding of us and own you as our Good Shepherd, in whom we are kept safe forever. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our third hymn continues the Easter theme, and I don't mind however many times I sing this hymn, because I love it so much. It's Thine Be the Glory. Thine be the glory, risen conquering Son. Endless is the victory, thou o'er death has won. Angels in bright raiment rolled the stone away, kept the folded grave clothes where thy body lay. Thine be the glory, risen conquering Son. Endless is the victory, thou or death has won. No more we doubt thee, glorious Prince of Life. Life is naught without thee, aid us in our strife. Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to thy home above. Thine be the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the victory thou o'er death has won. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. We say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And that brings our service to an end, but this week I've been a very busy lady. Last week I managed to get my hair cut. This week I've been to the opticians to get my new glasses so I can actually read um, the, the newspaper properly. I've taken my old girly cat Kylie to see the vet because she's getting very slow now. But he says although she is in her dotage, she is still eating heartily and thoroughly enjoying life in the sunshine. So maybe I might have her for a week or two longer. She's 20 or more years old, which is something well over 100 in cat years. Still very keen on her food and snoozing in any patch of sunshine she can find. I had great excitement when I went to Briley Hill Health Centre because I'm type 2 diabetic now due to medications I take. And I went in and went up to the first floor, as I've been told to do, but couldn't find the department that, te that looks at my retina. So I knocked on a door and said, am I due here? And the answer really surprised me. Well, they said, we're sexual health. Do you need to come in? And I said, oh, dear me, no. I think I'll go back to reception. I did finally get my eyes checked over. So all in all this week, I've had a full MOT. And so is my elderly girly cat, Kylie. And on behalf of all of us at St Peter's Kimber and St Mary's Enville, we wish you a tranquil week. I hope to see you again soon. I'm longing to sit in your presence and hear your stories. Until then, goodbye.